Okay, today we're going to take a look at continuity at a point. This is a, a pretty typical AP free response question. Um, they will give you some type of function and then ask you to determine whether or not the function is continuous at some given point <clears throat> along that function. All right, now, if you remember your de uh, definition of continuity at a point, all right, that's how you're going to want to answer this question because every time they always ask you to justify your answer. So over here, I've um, refreshed our memory here with the definition of continuity at a point. All right, a function f is continuous at c if the following three conditions are met. All right, f of c is defined. The limit as x approaches c of f of x exists, <clears throat> and the third part, the limit as x approaches c of f of x equals f of c. All right, if so, if I'm going to show or determine whether or not this function is continuous at x equals 1, 1 being my c value, all right, <clears throat> I'm going to justify that my answer. I'm going to use all three parts of this definition. All right, and then if as long as each one of these are true or holds, then yes, it's going to be continuous at C. If one of these three parts in this definition fails to exist, then the function is not continuous at that point. All right, so usually the way I like to set up um, my responses or tell my students to set up their responses, since it says justify your answer, you cannot assume that the person that's grading your paper knows what you're thinking or what you're going to be doing. All right, so it, since the question says determine whether or not f is continuous at x equals 1, all right, tell them what you're going to do. Literally write it out word for word. All right, you might start with something like for f to be continuous... at x equals 1, then the following three conditions must be met. At that point, they may probably realize, oh, hey, you're going to discuss the three points that are in that definition of continuity at, at at a point. All right, however, the point is you're telling them for it to be continuous, the following three conditions must be met. So as soon as you show that one of those conditions are not met, then it would not be continuous. If you're able to show all three parts are continuous or, or are met, then you can show that it's continuous. All right, so then outline it very nicely. All right, the first thing you're going to consider is the first part. All right, f of c is defined. So in other words, for this one, since my c is 1, I have got to show that f of 1 must be defined. All right, that's the first part that I have to show. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take f of 1. I'm going to plug it in over here and see what I get. Well, at x equals 1, the function is 2. So f of 1 equals 2, all right, is defined. All right, so I can just say f of 1 equals 2. So it is defined. All right. That would probably be a, well, a good enough part written out there. You're showing f of 1 equals 2. f of 1's got to be defined. It is defined, so we're good. The first condition is met. Okay, second part, the limit as x approaches c of f of x has to exist. All right, so in other words, on this one, I've got to have the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x has to exist. All right, so that's what I'm trying to prove on this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate that limit. So the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x equals, now let's see if we can figure out what the limit is. Okay, so coming from the left, x is less than or equal to 1. All right, the limit would be 1. All right, coming from the right, x is greater than or equal to 1. I'd be coming from the right here. If I plug 1 in, 2 minus 1 is going to be 1. So again, the limit is 1. Okay, so the limit as x approaches 1 of f of 1 equals 1. So the limit exists. All right, so I've just proved that the second part of the definition holds true. All right, now let's check the third part of the limit, uh, the definition. The limit as x approaches 1 of f of x must equal f of 1. Okay, the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x must equal f of 1. OK, 
Okay, so we've already calculated this right here, so let's rewrite it and show that. The limit as x approaches 1 of f of x, we said it was 1. We've already calculated this in part 1, so we can say f of 1 is equal to 2. All right, so I said in this condition that those two things must be equal. Obviously, they are not equal, all right, so I can draw a conclusion. Therefore, the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x does not equal f of 1. Okay, so this one fails. This one was met, this one was met, this one does not fail. So therefore, my this function is not continuous at 1. All right, so let's write an overall conclusion. All right, therefore, and then since we use the definition of continuity at a point, we can say there, therefore, by the definition of continuity at a point, I'm going to do some abbreviating there, f is not continuous at x equals 1. All right. So I have answered the question. I've determined whether or not f was continuous at x equals 1. I have justified the answer, and I justified it by writing absolutely everything out. I took that definition of continuity at a point. I took all three parts of that and took them individually and drew a conclusion from them individually so that I could look at it as a whole and then determine by using the overall definition if it was continuous or not. All right, nice well-written answer for an AP free response question that deals with continuity. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, go ahead and give me a like and be sure to share with your friends. Thanks.